This video is for educational and informational purposes only. Mutual funds and stocks talked in this video are purely used as examples. This video is not meant for advisory or recommendation purpose. Education is not only an important segment when we talk about economic growth or government policies, but it is also an important part of stock market because this sector leaves a huge social impact. They provide good long-term returns and they, this sector is always supported by the government because the government on each budget session provides provides a particular amount for this segment. They provide new schemes, programs for the development of the education sector of our country. Hi guys, I am CA Simran Surana from Alice Blue and in today's video, we are going to be discussing about our country's top educational stock. So do watch the entire video. In case if you're new to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get updates of the upcoming video. The first parameter that we are going to be discussing today is one year return. The company which ranks number one is Global Education Limited. Global Education Limited is India's one of the prominent educational institution that provides various academic courses and programs. The company is known for providing high quality education in various streams such as engineering, management, arts and science. The company believes or focuses in nurturing students' intellectual skills, forecasting thinking ability and building them for a successful career. The company has provided a tremendous one-year return of 245% and the current market price is 167 rupees per share. The second company is Aptic Limited. Aptic Limited is a renowned global learning solution that specializes in IT and multimedia training. They provide a wide range of comprehensive courses dealing in IT, that is software development, animation, digital marketing, computer networking, etc. The company has provided one year return of 144% and the current market price is 312 rupees per share. The third company is Career Point Limited. Career Point is a leading educational institution that specializes in students appearing for competitive exams. They are known for providing guidance for students appearing for entrance exams in the field of medical engineering and other professional courses. The company has provided one year return of 118% and the current market price is 207 rupees per share. The second parameter for today's discussion is one month return. The company which ranks number one is CompuCom Software Limited. CompuCom Software Limited, as the name suggests, is a software development company which provides a wide range of IT solutions and services. They specialize in custom software development, application management, application maintenance, and digital transformation solution. They cater the needs of their clients which come across or which come from various industries like health, retail, finance and many more. The company has provided a one month return of 16.48% and the current market price is 21.1 rupees per share. The second company is CL Educate Limited. CL Educate Limited is a renowned educational institution which is known for providing coaching and guidance for competitive exams, vocational training programs and skill development courses. The company is known for their experienced faculty, comprehensive study material and and personalized mentoring. The company has provided one month return of 14.88% and the current market price is 79.5 rupees per share. The third company is Shanti Educational Initiatives Limited. It is a educational management company that operates educational institutions across various levels from preschool to higher education. They focus on providing quality education with holistic development, academic excellence and character building. The company has provided one month return of 11.13% and the current market price per share is 66. Now coming to the third parameter for today's discussion, that is the P-E ratio. The company which ranks number one according to this parameter is Again, Shanti Education Initiatives Limited. As you've already discussed the company profile, I will directly come to the PE figures. The company's PE ratio is 445.88 and the current market price is 66 rupees per share. The second company is VJTF EduService Limited. VJTF is a education technology company that offers e-learning solutions and digital educational content. They provide interactive learning courses 
to students, digital textbooks, and educational app for students and teachers. The company's PE ratio is 371.20, and the current market price is 57 rupees per share. The third company is NIIT Limited. The company is a global talent development company that provides learning courses and skill development programs in various domains. They are known for their programs in IT, digital marketing, business analytics, finance, and other professional areas. The company's PE ratio is 364.90, and the current market price is 79.2. The last parameter for today's discussion is daily trading volume. The first company is Aptic Limited. As you've already discussed the profile of the company, I will directly come into the figures. Their daily trading volume is around 5,55,012 shares and the current market price is 312 rupees. The second company is Zlearn. Zlearn is a renowned educational company that operates a chain of three school and K-12 schools. The company has a volume of 4,87,019 shares and the current market price is 3.60. The third company is NIIT Limited. As I have already discussed the profile of the company, I'll directly come into the figures. The current market price is 79.20 and their daily trading volume is 1,98,409 shares. So that is all about the educational companies of our country, the top ones. So in case if you have any questions or queries, please do mention in the comment section below. Thank you for your support and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Investments in securities markets are subject to market risks. $3 related documents carefully before investing.